Hello and welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I am Jeff Kanata. Ashley Esqueda is out sick today, but I've still got your daily dose of science and tech headlines. Last week, we spent a lot of time talking about the intersection between technology and art. Well, here is another interesting art exhibition happening in Japan. DMM.Planets is a large-scale art exhibition featuring a piece called Wander Through the Crystal Universe, a huge, immersive maze of light. The walkthrough exhibit has light points reflected off of mirrors that create a look that's almost like a sculpture of light. Visitors can walk around inside the space and can also pull up the exhibition's smartphone app to trigger interactive elements while inside. Other installations include a soft black hole and a real-time rendered koi pond that changes based on visitor movement. The entire exhibition is on display in Odaiba, Tokyo, from now until August 31st. So you have to hurry if you want to catch the show. I love it when artists use technology to create these interactive experiences, especially this cool use of, of actually me on my phone being able to interact with the environment. Very, very cool stuff. We also talked last week about the advances in cybernetic arm technology. This might be one of the coolest uses for that kind of tech. Obi aims to improve the quality of life for anyone afflicted with injuries or conditions that impede their ability to eat. It's a simple two button system. One button chooses which bowl and the other tells Obi to get a spoonful of food in that bowl and bring it to the user's mouth. There are a variety of ways for a user to activate the buttons, ranging from foot pedals to responsive pillows to mouthpieces. So most people can use Obi regardless of their disability. The bowls and spoons are all dishwasher safe and Obi provides about three hours of eating time per charge. It's available to buy, but it'll set you back at least $4,500, which is pretty pricey. But in the future, we hope products like Obi will cost as much as any other kitchen appliance. This tech will undoubtedly be life-changing for the people who need it, but we gotta get those costs down. That's really the next frontier to make this affordable for all. We'd love to hear your comments about these stories. I think we'll probably be talking about that interactive art exhibit on Thursday when Ashley's back and we do the long form show, but you can provide your input into our conversation by using the hashtag HeyTD on Twitter. That's how we know you're talking to us. We'd love to incorporate your comments into our discussion. All right, let's get to Phonetographer of the Day. Today's Phonetographer of the Day is Andrew, who took this on, believe it or not, a Blackberry Passport. Andrew writes, hi, Tomorrowers. Here's my entry for Phonetographer of the Day. I bet you don't get many pictures taken using the Blackberry Passport. He's right. It's actually the perfect Instagram photo due to its one-to-one -one aspect ratio. It's a good tech fact. Here's my story. This is Jack, yes, Jack Nicholson, an inquisitive multi-pug. He and I have walked pretty much everywhere while chasing Pokemon. On this particular day, we walked to Hillbury Island, a nature reserve and bird sanctuary. He loves the rock pools and enjoyed a bark off with the seals. This sent birds flying and won us disapproving looks from the bird watchers. We've not been back since. Of course, you have my permission to use this photograph on the show. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Andrew. Oh, what a cool photo. He, he looks like he thinks he's bigger than he is, barking off with those seals. That's fun. Uh, this, this month, this whole month long, our theme is pets, and we enjoy seeing those pet photographies. So if you want to send in your pet, it doesn't have to be a conventional pet. It can be any kind of pet. Yeah, think outside the box if you want. Send them to tomorrow at cnet.com. Just be sure to give us permission to use the picture on the show. Tell us how to pronounce any of the names that we might have a problem with in the story. Tell us a story about why you took that picture. And we love hearing what tech you use to take the photo because, my goodness, I would never have guessed a BlackBerry Passport was still in use. Very, very cool stuff. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Ashley and I will be back tomorrow. But until then, be good humans. Bye. Oh, my God.